Hits 105.5. That was Billy Squire with Rock Me Tonight. Good morning. Welcome to the morning show. Hope everyone is having a wonderful Wednesday morning. In the studio with me, I have Shelby County Commissioner Julie Amon, and we are going to talk about things around the county that are happening. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. How are you today? I'm doing good. I'm playing songs from 1984, by the way, okay. on Billboard. Okay. Well, you know, you, you've, you're talking about it being a wonderful Wednesday, and, we t- and I teased you last week I guess about Uh another W so it's gonna be a winning Wednesday okay all right (laughs) we're gonna win today we're gonna win it is a win-win Wednesday on on BS in the afternoon at two o'clock she does do win-win Wednesday (laughs) and people will win some things eventually yeah so it's a winning Wednesday it is a winning Wednesday and you're all winners out there and so is Julie Amon so (laughs) (laughs) you are a winner (laughs) she's too kind to me but we'll move on (laughs) So you had talked about, we talk about everything and anything in the county. Mm-hmm. And as a Shelby County Commissioner, there's a lot of entities that, that you cover. You would not believe everything we get to stick our fingers into some days. But um, yeah. yeah, so today I'm here to talk about, this is going to sound really exciting. It's major upgrades to the Fort Laramie Wastewater Treatment Plant. Mm-hmm. Now, it. It just says Fort Laramie, but it really encompasses a lot of area in the county. Mm -hmm. Um, It collects waste from Kettlersville and McCartyville and the village of Fort Laramie and Newport. And all of the homes around the Fort Laramie Lake are all collected and go to this wastewater treatment plant. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that was out there. Surprise, surprise. See what you learned. It's off on a little side road. So, yeah, most people don't even know it exists. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, it's a really important piece of our infrastructure. And we were under some EPA mandates to upgrade it um, because of the phosphorus issue and other issues. Um, the plant itself was at the end of life, way past the end of life. And so um, I have to give kudos to our engineer, Bob Guy, because he put together this funding stack so that we can do this 13.3%. Um, so we've got a loan from the USDA, a grant from the USDA, another grant from the Ohio Department of Development, and then local funds that help put this project together. Um, the plant itself is designed to handle 600,000 gallons of waste a day. That's its normal flow. During a major rainfall, we will see up to 2 million gallons a day. And the plant can, the new plant, will be able to handle three millions. So we're really planning for the future growth. Mm -hmm. And you have to plan for those unforeseen weather events that really flood your plants. Um, Mm -hmm. But we got a tour yesterday and got to see how the the progress is coming along. Um, The facility is going to be running around the first week of October. Oh, that's not too far away. No, no. But it's it's really interesting. And I hope to post pictures on the Shelby County Facebook page later today. And, Mm -hmm. you know, so it'll be exciting for some people that are into wastewater treatment plant. For for the rest of us, it's going to look like a bunch of lunch, a bunch of little ponds and Mm -hmm. lots of concrete. Um, But it's been it's been uh, under construction for the last year. Um, Phase two substantial completion will be the fall of 2024. So there's a lot of work going on out there yet. But we're getting ready to switch over and and start processing the waste under this new plant. Um, I want to give kudos to Jones and Henry Engineering out of Toledo that are helping us, and Peterson Construction that is our general con- contractor out of Walpox so who are working on this project. Nice, and with that, because there's a lot of growth out in the country too. So new neighborhoods are popping up. So this is a- around there. So this is a great this is a great thing. I. Didn't know that was out there, but when I was in high school, I went to the waste water trip, and it is pretty fascinating. Uh huh. I that I did that in science class. That was one of our field trips, <laughs> and I'll never forget that because it was it was like, what? Like yeah. All I, I was on the village council in Anna when when we had to build the new plant in Anna, and yeah. and the same designer um, is doing is doing the plant here for us for mm-hmm. the Fort Laramie. So it's yeah. I remember when that hot that. That doesn't seem that long ago, but I'm sure. Well, how long ago was that? 20 years? 25 years? I don't know. <laughs> Mid to late 90s. Mid to Wow. Okay. Interesting. Now, you mentioned that you guys do have a Facebook page. So if you mm-hmm. want to follow Shelby County Commissioners and, and Shelby County, what is that? 
Facebook it's page. It's just Shelby County. Uh, that's all you have to put in there? Yeah. It's Shelby County. It's not going to go to Tennessee because if you Google Shelby County, it goes to it Tennessee. Goes to, <laughs> there's lots of Shelby counties throughout the country, and Shelby County, Tennessee happens to have Nashville, so that's the one you usually end up falling into. Exactly. Uh, and yeah. I'm like, that didn't happen in Shelby County. If I Googled something and put Shelby County, I'm like, Yeah, I, li- I like to put the positive things going on in Shelby County onto our Facebook On your page. Facebook, yes. So, um, you know, the, the sheriff honored some employees recently. That was one of our recent posts. And, mm-hmm. you know, um, Bridget of Casa celebrated a big work anniversary. So, she did. So we had a post for Bridget. You know, just good positive things mm-hmm. going on in Shelby County. I, I like that. Get Let's do more of that. <laughs> Every day, <laughs> good positive things. I like that. There's a lot of good things happening in Shelby County, and that's why Julia's here. We're going to learn more every Wednesday at eight fifteen. We're going to learn more about everything in Shelby County. Thank you. So, and we're still going to call it around the county until Kurt Amon comes up with something clever. And <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much, Julie. And make sure you follow the Shelby County Facebook page for the positive stuff that's happening around here in Shelby County. Thank you so much, Shelby County Commissioner Julie Amon. How many times can I say Shelby County? I don't know, but you have a winning Wednesday. <laughs> you do. You have a winning Wednesday. <laughs> then when I talk to uh, Chastity Crowder, the dog warden, she'll say a uh, Wiggly Bottom Wednesday or a Whiskers Wednesday. Oh, I like that too. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Coming up next, if this is it, by Huey Lewis and the News. It's Hits 105.5.